Hi, in this video I wanted to talk to you about the VLOOKUP function. Now, the VLOOKUP function is very useful in finding the right references inside of a table that was already created made out of data which might have many many rows. Now, earlier in a tutorial we talked about the IF statement and how it works and we used this uh, data of names of students, their age, and then we would figure out whether the student is an adult or a minor. So we'll use the same table of data to demonstrate the VLOOKUP function. Now please note that the VLOOKUP function actually stands for vertical lookup, which is why our column is vertical, but it is a newer version of an older function called lookup. And sometimes in the instructions we will ask for lookup function when we really mean the VLOOKUP or vertical lookup. So instead of using the older lookup function, make sure to use VLOOKUP or vertical lookup. Okay, so what is the scenario here? How is the VLOOKUP function going to be useful to us? Well, in a table of data, uh, this table only has 10 rows, but it could be hundreds of rows. What if we wanted to look up something quickly? Yes, I can use Control F and then I can try to find the right row. However, VLOOKUP can do this for us automatically. What if, after typing name of a student, like for example Bob, underneath it would display for me whether they are an adult or a minor? Now this could be a different scenario where I have hundreds or maybe thousands of uh, computer part numbers and then their prices. And then by typing in the computer part number, I want the price to come up automatically. So the VLOOKUP function allows you to create a little program out of your spreadsheet. So it adds magic and that's, that's uh, important. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how we can look up then whether someone is a minor or an adult just by typing in their name. Well, what we'll do is we'll start by uh, typing in the equal sign and then the lookup. Notice that I can type in lowercase and Excel will change that for me in a minute uh, to uppercase. I could also go to the uh, um, lookup and reference set of functions and then select the VLOOKUP wizard and we're going to use it in a minute but for now I want to show you how to do that without uh, a wizard. So notice uh, that we have some uh, parameters or arguments which are required. Those which are inside of uh, square brackets are optional, the rest are required. Let's go ahead and go through them one by one. Lookup value, what does that mean? That means where is the label where you will be typing? Now we will be typing in H6, right? H6. Uh, so for us, H6, I'm sorry, H5. H5 is where we are going to uh, be typing. So that's why I typed in Bob, and that's uh, H, H5. Great. So next, we're going to try to figure out what is the table or table array, array just basically means a group of things. So where's the table that will provide us with answers? And so our table is going to be uh, located uh, from the word John down to the word minor. Now our table actually will include the age also, but we will not be using the age directly in our VLOOKUP function. So at this point, let's go ahead and put another comma. And the next uh, parameter uh, is column index number. Now this is going to be numerical, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. And to calculate it, you have to calculate which column you're trying to see the answer in. And so for us, the first column has the name, the second column has the age and the third column has the information we are actually looking for so we will type in number three here and then the last element can be either true or false and the difference is that with false you get the exact match so if you are typing a value which does not have a match if I type in a name that does not appear on my list I will not have a valid result 
So why would you ever want to have true here? Why would you want to look up something that's not exact? Well, what if there was a range of uh, numbers? What if you're trying to calculate um, a discount where if uh, someone buys uh, 10 parts, they get 5% discount, but when they get 100 parts, they get 10% discount. If you simply type in 28, it's going to go ahead and apply that 5% discount. So th this kind of a, a VLOOKUP function can try to figure out the, the ranges that are distributed throughout the table. In our instance, there are no ranges. There are specific names of students. And therefore, we are going to use false, meaning be very exact, find exactly the name that I am looking for. Now we'll press Enter. And notice that for Bob, the VLOOKUP function says, oh yeah, that's an adult. So let's go ahead and try something else. Let's type in Peter. And now it says it's the minor. So that's the usage of the VLOOKUP function. Now, what if I wanted to not just have one area of my spreadsheet where I'm typing things in, but instead I would like to perhaps calculate for multiple students, uh, this kind of uh, uh, system. Well, at that point, maybe I would need to move my cell into a row. And so I'll just copy and paste it here. And I'll notice that Excel is adjusting my uh, references. But what will happen now if I try to fill this function down? As I do that, notice the NA. Now, what what happened? As I look through the formula, the the uh, the B3 became B4, and then our calculation is now extending to D13, which is an empty cell. And as I am going down, now I am referencing H12 through uh, through D19, which is again all empty. To avoid these kinds of reference problems, I need to make my table to be an absolute reference. So in my table itself, I will go ahead and either press F4 or add my uh, dollar signs. And as I do that, I will freeze this table into the spreadsheet. So my fill function will work as expected because the table will be frozen. So now if I do that, I will go ahead and uh, uh, fill this function down. Notice that the uh, reference uh, for the table is not changing. The only thing that's changing is the reference for the age value, which means now that I can type in Harry. I can type in, type in Katie. I need to spell Harry correctly because, again, we had that false at the end for exact match. I'm going to type in Simon, I can type in uh, uh, John, and so the functions work perfectly here because our table is in the absolute state, and of course I need to have the first part populated or I need to type in the name. So hopefully this gives you an idea on how to use the VLOOKUP function and also does a little refresher on what the absolute values are all about. So, with that, uh, I will go ahead and uh, uh, fill in uh, some of the other values by just uh, copying and pasting what I typed in. Uh, but by doing so, of course, I can uh, show you that uh, the functions are working uh, correctly. So now let's go ahead and uh, open uh, this function in the wizard. Let's go to VLOOKUP. And notice that uh, the benefit of the wizard here is that we get to type in the same formula uh, only into prepared text boxes. And these text boxes actually have um, little helpers, uh, little evaluating uh, parts. So we'll type in uh, H5 as the cell that's going to have the typed in data. Our table reference is going to be, again, between name and then the status. Let's make sure that this uh, happens to be, uh, whoops, let's make sure that this table is set into uh, absolute reference. So I'm going to put dollar signs in front of the uh, 
column in uh, row references. And then to calculate correctly the index, if I type in now, uh, 1, right, it just is going to uh, re return uh, the, the number of the cell. But if I type in 3 here, it's going to evaluate the status of a minor or adult. And we want to make sure that uh, we're using exact uh, reference and not just range matches, which is now going to, uh, uh, let's see what's happening here. We have column, we have H5. So let's go ahead and press done. And, uh, oh, I see what's happened here. Um, this is not working uh, on an empty cell. It's actually working uh, in addition to my previous view lookup function. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, fix it up here. And now we can press uh, done. So it's the same process of entering values, however, in a graphical user interface, which might be at times helpful. Thank you.